So a while ago, I came across this Reddit thread. I don't remember what I was searching for. Well, it was a couple days ago, but I came across this Reddit thread. It might have been shared on Discord or something, but why the heck are you in the wrong layout? Anyway, this person comes in to the Steam subreddit and says, how come everyone hates DRM, but it's perfectly fine with Steam's DRM? So a lot of people kind of chime in and go like, well, there's this, 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 and this. The user's been deleted, so they're not around anymore. But so Val Steam actually has a fair number of DRM free games in it. And I've actually messed with this. So it kind of made me aware of it. Let me copy that link address and move it over here. What kind of made me aware of it is like me trying to play some of the games on Steam without Steam running. So and also, Lutris. So when you've got any Steam games on Lutris, what it can do is it'll try and run the D run the game without Steam. So when you go into any game in like the Steam section in Lutris, you can like right click it, you go to configure, and you go to where is it game options okay so you've got drm free mode do not launch steam on so you basically point it to the binary of the game and where needs be you might need to point it to oh some sort of what is it pre or wine or whatever prefix that you need to add but yeah let's see do 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 yeah, so you can turn that on and it'll try to run it as much as possible, or it will. You just have to point it to the right spot. So then you've got your runner options as well. So you can start it with LSI, which is Linux Steam Integration. Um, Let's see. But yeah, you've got those options, which kind of made me aware of this. So if I go into my steam directory steam apps common so kind of the main games i was doing this with at first was oh so if i go into let's go can i spell today please so still arse was when i was doing this with so what these do is if you launch the game so for paradox games if you launch the game first in steam or with their launcher enable a certain play set and uh, that play set will be enabled for it so next time you start it with this method outside of steam it'll run with that play set on so it'll come on with gigastructures on and then from there i can play my games and so on that way So yeah, you can see it's got the Gigastructures O oh, backgrounds enabled. So this is running without Steam needing to be enabled. Let me make sure that, oh, okay. So let me exit Steam. It's got to shut down Stellaris. Come on, stupid. Stop the game, dying it. Ha, <laughs> stupid. Okay, so we exit, go back in. Ah. So, again, we this time without steam running. 
here we go. And so again, if you want Steam running in the background, you've got an option. If you're one of the, if you don't want Steam running, then you have the option as well. Do do do. Ba -ba -da. New game. We can go in. Go back to menu. Load game. Load save. It takes us straight into the game with all our mods enabled. And it runs just finely. Da! Except for that, when we lose focus of the game. So that's one of the things there. Aww. So if we bring, so how do you know whether your game is DRM free? So there are actually a couple lists that give you that option. So you've got like a Steam fandom page that tells you what kind of things will qualify in there that you can pull the game data from and play DRM free. But then there is also a list of games that are explicitly DRM free as well. So this is on the PC Gaming Wiki. You can search for Steam D DRM or Steam DRM free games, and it'll come up with this. I have it set up so that it shows 500 games. So you can see that, like, for example, Kenshi is one of those that's DRM free. You should be able to run without, oh, running Steam if you go straight in. You've also got Final Doom. And I think Final Doom is more, well, it could be the Doom client that Bethesda has, but it could also be just the fact that you bring, copy over the data files, and then it's like, okay, cool, go. Um, Let's see, I think, so it doesn't have Morrowind in here, it looks like. Me... So, like, Morrowind would be one that you just copy the data folder over, you run in, like, OpenMW, and it would be fine that way. AWOL. So, some, if I, I closed it out, but some of the people in that Reddit thread mentioned it's like, oh, I work for a game company. There was one person. I work for a game company, and we used it, Steamworks, but it was a soft depend on it. And so, that's kind of where you have to, like, look and check and see. So, like, for example, when I was looking at it, I'm like, which games can I mess with? Like, Project Zomboid is on other places as well. So, I'm pretty sure I can run this without needing Steam. So, I went to check it. And I'm like, okay, what am I looking at? And then I looked at the Project Zomboid JSON file. And so, what this is, is the configuration basically for running project zomboid edit and so it's got this zomboid.steam variable you switch that to a zero and all of a sudden it's not asking for project zomboid to have steam running at the same time so you can run project zomboid without steam just by flipping one number around So that gives you an idea of what you can do with it. And then, of course, if you've got mods installed, blah, blah, blah. I don't think it'll check for the Steam Workshop section because you've turned off the Steamworks dependency on it. Um, let's go up to... Hmm. So, looking at one of the lists, I believe it said Blasphemous was another game that is on that list of stuff. Arma, vaguely see it right there. Uh, so, Blasphemous, if we go up to Blasphemous, 
you can see we've got that goodie book. Um, we might be able to just offhandedly run it just like that. Yep. So some of them, they're just going to work just out of the gate, like, oh, the Paradox games will. Others may take, like, switching a configuration here or there. What are you doing? Okay, never mind. It felt the need to run Steam. That was not the point of this exercise, my friend. You've betrayed me, friend. How could you do this? So, I mean, it can be hit and miss. Um, bleed blood to the chosen blood fresh supply. So, can she said, What are you? So, what I am wanting to double check is we look for Steam language. EN Great Britain. What the heck? Let's see. Count 13. Dependencies. Okay, so we want to double check that hopefully everything should work fine. So what we do, forgotten construction set, hopefully, so we go prime run wine. No. Well, that's depressing. Please consider Novo Driver instead. No. So, again, some things are going to be hit and miss. It may be that it needs to run on oh windows to do it but if you kind of experiment you can probably figure out what went wrong and how to get it to run without it which is kind of really cool to consider so yeah but yeah, depending on the game, so some Windows games might have issues, Linux ones might have issues, and still, again, it takes some experimenting and figuring out what exactly you need to do to get them to work. If you enjoyed the video, then like, comment, subscribe, feed the algorithm, boost the video up, share this video with your friends. If you found it informative or you just want to chat, I've got plenty of places in the description. Discord, Gilded, and what have you. Check those out, and I will see you guys in the next one.